hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today in this uh, video i am going to explain you my own experience in round one of the deloitte for data engineering role okay so here uh, so interviewer shared me one file which contains the some sample fields uh, like whatever i mentioned here like first name last name pin code and address and he shared his uh, Databricks community edition and ask me to write the code on that only okay so yes so the first they asked me to just read the csv file and define the schema okay as per our understanding or yes uh, need here we can just say the string for first name last name and the integer for the pin code and again we can say the string for the address field okay so this is the first part of this program or you can say the question and then we need to again uh, perform the three transformation so the after that once we have the data post that they ask me to create a one field called name okay where i need to concat first name and the last name so here for the four first name is uh, john and the last name is doe so your name should be john doe okay so in the second we need to create a one new field called address new here for creating they have provided a logic like the, if the pin is 111 then we need to consider whatever the address it is for other pin we need to just put it as a null okay in new new field called address new and again post that we need to do some other transformation where we can just uh, update the existing address field where we need to put the null instead of uh, null value sorry we need to put the unknown wherever we have the null as address so means uh, here we can get the unknown and unknown and the same value should be come here unknown and all other fields are same so hope you guys understand so let's go to the databricks and we can write our code from the scratch this time so i don't have any pre-written code here i'm directly writing code from the scratch so first thing i want to share with you like uh, i have already created a one dummy data set and i already put it into the dbfs okay so let me just copy the path of that particular file so let me copy the spark api format path okay so i have copied Mm, let me store it as a uh, file path equals to this is the file path and as we need to import or as we need to require schema setup or explicitly define the schema so let me import the required types so from pyspark dot sql dot types we need to import so as i mentioned we need to use the first struct type yeah we want struct type once we have the struct type then we want struct field then we want uh, string type as a data type and then we want integer as we discuss okay these are the some types we are more interested in apart from that in later stage as we need to perform some concat for that also we can import our required function so from function what we need to use is we can import the column or we can say use a concat ws we want column and as well as when as we have some uh, conditional column we need to create with the pin code and all okay so yes these are the something which we require let me execute yes it's complete so now let me define the schema here so this is the file name let me define the schema equals to so it should always start start with the struct type okay so inside the struct type we can just start writing like struct field so the first field as per they mentioned like the first name let me copy this in the same way i have already created so the first name we have so the struct field is the first name first name and the data type is the string 
type and if it is nullable yes it is true let me copy Okay, so this is the last name here I can write here we can write pin code and here type is integer type and at the end we can have address okay so we don't want this comma so now yes our schema is also ready so let's create a data frame df equals to Spark dot read dot directly write like CSV. We can go ahead with format as well. We will directly pass like CSV underscore path, and here I can pass as a schema as a schema equal to schema schema, and here header should be true equals to true. Okay, so this. Yes, uh, everything looks good and let me display it here only if we'll display it in excel okay so let me check if it is works fine or not okay must be file path mm, okay sorry here i pass it into the string type so it should not be it's a variable yeah so it's done let me print it and meantime let me check uh, the data type as well just yes, so for first time last time and address we have the string and for a pin code we have the integer so yes it's as per expectation and yeah it's look good and yes uh, we have the data where we have the two address as a null and remaining as some values okay so now the first two part is complete now let's move to the third one where we can just want to create a new field called name okay so for that let me write a code like let's show me the into the result equals to df dot with column okay what column we need to create name so what is the logic for creating this we can perform the concatenation here we can concat with the help of space what we need to concat is the first name and the last name field first name comma last underscore name field okay so yes uh, in this way it should create let me print it now yes we are getting the name which is the concatenation of first name and last name and let's move to the fourth one what do we need to create we need to create a new column called as new address okay and where the logic is if the pin is 111 then we need to retain the address as a new address our address new and otherwise it should be null okay so let's back, come back here let me continue this line only dot with column new address what is the logic when call of pin dot is in one 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 okay so if this is the case then we need to put it as a address okay so okay this is address otherwise if it if it not like that so otherwise we need to give it as a none so yes it's look good let me execute yes so whatever the pin code has the uh, pin code is wherever the pin code is one we are getting the address value as a new address and for remaining we have the null okay null value so we are good with this as well so the next and the last one is we need to update the existing address field with the logic like uh, wherever the already existing address is null we need to replace this with unknown okay so we need to replace this with unknown so let's go down and again i'm 
here also I am trying to continue the thing so let me copy and reuse this the same line hmm. so instead of uh, none I can put it as unknown and here we as we need to update the existing so we can pass it as existing and here the column is address if the call is address and the condition as we discussed condition is not null right so is not null and there is no value if it is not null then if the address is not null then it should pick the value from the address field otherwise it should be unknown so what we are expecting like uh, for this the row number fifth and the row number seven we are expecting here uh, unknown value so yes let me execute yeah so for uh, number five, uh, fifth and seventh where previously address was null now it is coming as unknown so yes uh, this is the something coding question which i face in Deloitte round one and yeah so i'm happy to share like a uh, yes based on that i have already cleared the first round and i have was appeared for the round two and i have uh, <coughs> the question for round two as well just I will create a videos on that soon so yes uh, if you like this please subscribe to my channel and share with your friends who are preparing for data engineering or interview or data engineering role so thank you for watching this thank you